When it comes to the conversation of the next pinnacle point for gaming, you will often hear top executives say that cloud gaming is the future of the game. And as most of us gamers will like to disagree, that isn't stopping any major corporations from pushing this envelope. Some companies have even gotten things right, while some are still in the beta form, still trying to work things out. With this said, cloud gaming is still far from its apex form. So with several years of testing, could this new challenger be the kryptonite for every competition. Well, let's find out what I know so far and what we have displayed when it comes to the GeForce Now. Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing fantastic. I've been part of the GeForce Now beta test for years and with its recent release, I will be telling you the good, the bad and the ugly. Starting with the good and the functionality. GeForce Now is a cloud gaming system. To play games on this platform, you need to first own the game from whichever publisher or public store the game officially resides. This means that if the game is a Steam game, you must own it on Steam. If it is an Epic game, you must own it on Epic, on Origin, Uplay, and even Battle.net compared to, let's say, Stadia. GeForce Now is not a storehouse for games because you will still get a prompt to log into those other platforms through the GeForce Now browser as a way to confirm your ownership for those games. So even if you're going through the Nvidia Shield or your cell phone or your laptop, you will still have to do these things at least once for every single platform. So in other words, it's like trying to play certain movies on Hulu, which will have you log into your cable provider. All you need is a one-time login and once that is out of the way, you're home free. The experience is stunning compared to Stadia and I hate to have to throw Stadia out there. However, it is not as groundbreaking as Project xCloud. Single player games are great all round and multiplayer could still use some work, though GeForce Now is also miles ahead in avoiding some of these problems. You only get some stutters when you are in a highly populated social space. The resolution, the textures, and the frame rates are above average and steady. I have seen some screen tear here and there, but not all the time. The platform has an option to make selection based on your data speed and cap. So you can go for your 4K resolution if you are in the upgraded version, or you can go for your 1080 or 720 resolution, which is one of the really cool things about it. There is no doubt that this platform is made for those who haven't upgraded their PC in years, but still want to play some of the latest games. In case you're wondering, this is Division 2 on the GeForce Now and it is running in a spectacular way. The library is vast beyond anything, but it also comes with his own caveat, which is something that we're going to be talking about. In hindsight, you could look at the platform as a way to help developers advertise their games, like let's say YouTube. But for companies like Activision, they're not having any of this situation. Considering that Activision likes money and just lost Destiny 2 a year ago, they want to keep all their games in a single spot. Also, whenever a company puts their games on a lot of these platforms, some of them make monetary deals such as licensing or an exclusivity deal. This is where GeForce Now has a huge problem for now until the end of time unless they resolve it. It's like a YouTube for gaming but a copyright holder decide that they can take it down or shut down your channel or remove all their stuff from your channel and that is basically what we have in this situation because they can decide if they want their games on this platform or not and that is what Activision has done. As of a few days ago, Activision has pulled all their games from the GeForce Now platform. This means Nvidia wouldn't be able to access the Battle.net API and any attempt to do so could result in a massive lawsuit. There is no doubt that Activision wanted some money for this and if Nvidia had said here, here is some money, Activision is basically removing the game for now or indefinitely. And this could also spiral down into more games and more publishers taking exclusivity more seriously when it comes to GeForce Now. This is one of the major problems that exist and will exist in the future of this platform. Unlike Stadia, the company isn't going to be making extra sales, instead they're just showcasing it and telling you that hey, we have these games on our servers and you can play it from our servers. And that is one of the things that some companies like Activision are not okay with since you need to already own the game. Anyways, that is going to be it. Let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.